Hi guys, welcome to Kasi Unfold Sakasi, where we unfold the Kasi talent, and I'm your host, Tina Christina. Today in the house, we have flexibility. How are you, my guy? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm great. So, can you please tell us your real name and tell us about yourself? Okay. Uh, my real name is Uluvo Tisane. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but I go by the artist name Flexi. Flexi. E F L A X I E. Flexi. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was F L and whatever. No, it's a silent P and an F. Oh. An L and an A and an X and an I and an E. Where did you get that? Name. Uh, uh, well, I was I was chilling in Sunnyside, uh -huh. uh, creating for, creating this piece on the ground. Yes. For this guy who was selling by a sparkler container, ne? Mm -hmm. Got a container. So there was this ruler I was carrying at that time, mm -hmm. and that ruler could bend. Oh, it I know. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, 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 ruler. Mm -hmm. rulers, ne? Okay. And that ruler was called Flexi. F L E. Yeah, on the ruler, it was the flex, I know, yeah, yeah, I know that ruler. So I was like, but this is like a reflection of how I create visual art. Oh. But now I couldn't use the same name, F L E X Y. Yes. Copyright. Mm hmm. Exactly. So I decided to change it up and I called it P F L A X I E. Flex. Oh, flexi. Yeah, so it stands right. for flexibility. Okay, so you are originally from KZN? No, Eastern Cape, but I grew up a lot in KZN. KZN? Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm from the Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. You know, oh. somehow I thought Eastern Cape and KZN is just the same Hamaskral and Bidori thing. No, no. Well, there are borders which are put in place to divide mm -hmm. the country. and. Oh, yeah, so. okay. All right. KZN and Eastern Cape. So, can you tell us about you growing up from East, what's what's from, and KZN and Pretoria? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, being born in the Eastern Cape, I was born in Tabangkul. Okay. Tabangkul, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was still young. Then we moved to another small town, which is still in the Eastern Cape, called yes. Mount Alif. M T A Y L I F F. Mount oh. Alif. Okay. Uh, we stayed there for a couple of years. That's where I started crash. But in 1996, we moved to Kokstad, which is in KZN. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where I did a lot of my growing up, doing different things that children do. That children do? Yeah, like, like what? Like playing spin tops, uh, playing with marbles. Manko ani. Manko ani, you know. <laughs> so you did play manko ani? I played manko And what I character did you play? I obvious, you play father. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you it's play? not obvious. <laughs> Ah, it's obvious. It's not obvious. I'm gonna my key, my Being a father is difficult, and if unta demo like you are mm. the best. Yeah, I guess because because I have like a, a natural ability to learn things fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was sort of like better than my friends in the stuff we were doing. Oh, so automatically okay. that puts you up. Exactly. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. So he is alamanduani. Yeah, you are a father. Because you can run the fastest or you can score the most yeah, goals in yeah. the song. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, great. So <laughs> are you are you are you an, an an introvert or an as an extrovert? Uh sure. <laughs> when I was young I was an introvert. Mm -hmm. But understanding that uh, I wanted to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I, I, I studied or learned how to become an extrovert. Mm -hmm. But naturally, I prefer a quiet life that's inward going out. You prefer right? your own company? I prefer my own company. But to make a lot of money, you sort mm -hmm. of have to find a balance of putting yourself exactly. out there. Yes. And putting yourself yes. out there. You can't do it as an introvert. Yes. So you mm -hmm. have to learn characteristics of an extrovert mm -hmm. yeah, so naturally introvert but according to the vocation i've mm -hmm. chosen mm -hmm. i've learned to be an extrovert and how is that for you uh, it was tricky in the beginning because now you open up yourself to a lot of feedback and sometimes yeah. that feedback is not, it's not nice. good exactly yeah. you see it's mm -hmm. not nice mm -hmm. especially as an introvert you understand yourself you have your processes you are clean in a way nah? mm -hmm. but now 
some people might not see it like you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you 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 get a lot of feedback, but mm -hmm. that feedback even grows the introvert in you. So you Great. become stronger in your process. Yeah. Yeah. So I I I I I realized that I can sing when I was in grade when I was in grade three, four, some way. When for real, when did you realize that you can draw and paint? Uh when okay, painting, uh painting painting is, is something very recent. But drawing I used to do in primary school. Mm -hmm. In grade grade five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh there was a friend of mine called Mkolisi and Uloisi. So in grade five mm -hmm. we would trace like you see oh, a, a magazine. Yeah. You see a magazine there. Yeah. You so put you, it so you take the magazine, you flip it over, you put it in a blank page. A blank paper, then you then you, you trace over, it. Yeah. Then you come back with a pencil over it. Yeah. And so, what draw you have a new. So now you oh, look semi realistic. Okay. People yeah. be like, Whoa, this is You guy. can draw and then they will talk copies before. Oh. So I started like that, I started like that. Then sometimes I'd freestyle, just start with a pen mm -hmm. and paper. And just mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so great five fish. So since from there you said I want to do this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What did you want to do then? Uh when I was young, uh, oh my word, it would depend on the time frame. But let's let's say high school. Yeah. Let's go to high school. Mm -hmm. when, when I was in high school, I wanted to be an accountant. In mm -hmm. grade nine, when you have to choose subjects, yes, yeah, I I I was good in natural sciences, and I was also good in uh, economic management sciences. So, I looked at periodic table. Mm -hmm. I'm like, nope, not not gonna be doing periodic table <laughs> anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> so that's that cancelled uh, the physic, the physics, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. biology. Mm -hmm. And I went into commerce, and that decision led me to wanting to be an accountant. Oh. And I ended up studying accounting. So, and then where did painting and, and, and drawing fit it? Uh, where did it come in? Okay. So, in 2014, mm -hmm. I dropped out of the accounting in university. Yeah, I was like, no. What? Yeah, I was like, nah, <laughs> not accounting. I didn't choose accounting. It was just something which I was good at as a young Oh, child. not like, there's something that you are good at and there's something that you love. Yeah, or you want to do. Or you want to do. Yeah. And okay. Because you're good at something doesn't necessarily mean that you, you want to do, do it. it. Exactly. You see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so that was the case with, with, with the accounting. But at the same time I also struggled in university. I got mm -hmm. trapped. Life mm -hmm. trapped me, trapped me. Many <laughs> what did you do to life? <laughs> ah, life did things to me. Oh, you never. Honest. You do things to life, and then life comes back to you. Okay. Okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> maybe, 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 I, maybe I didn't show commitment. Yes. Maybe I didn't go to class. <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. What? You but, did something to but life. Yeah, I got trapped. Then in 2014, I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I have to pick myself up yes mm -hmm. i have to fix this mess that yeah. i find myself in mm -hmm. then i started uh personal development so i, st I started reading motivational sp speakers mm -hmm. uh let me see if i can think of a name or two bob proctor yes he came up uh, uh there was also Abraham Hicks, mm -hmm. she came up. So they were just basically dealing with visualizations and affirmations mm -hmm. and also subconscious. See? So I was like fixing myself up and motivating myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because now I consumed a lot of information in that space, I started writing. Oh. Yeah. I, I started That's writing. where writing yeah. comes, on, comes from. Yeah. So I started writing, started writing, started writing because I was getting information and mm -hmm. this information I had to give it to other people. Exactly. And the only way, best way you could do that all mm -hmm. 
okay, there are many ways you can do it, not necessarily the best way. But yeah. at that time, the best way I could do it was writing. So I was writing, I was writing, I was writing. But I was like, uh, our society's attention span is not that long. Mm -hmm. So people mm -hmm. aren't reading anymore. And, my, mm -hmm. and the stuff I was writing was long. And this was for Facebook. And the stuff was long. Mm -hmm. Like, you find a post, it's 3,000 words. Who's going to read 3,000? The moment you see on Facebook, uh, continue reading. Eish. Like, guy, oh, this guy. Like, ah, uh, later. <laughs> you see? Yeah. So I was like, yeah. okay, how do I then uh, find a way of quickly sharing information with mm -hmm. people according to uh, the attention Attracting the attention. In, in the uh -huh. society, yeah. And that's when I started with the drawing and the painting. Mm. Yeah, and then I was like, Clever. okay, let's try painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's try painting. I am so bad at reading paints and drawings. I love this, but I really don't know what it means. Oh. Uh, so as an artist, can you can you tell, can you explain to me how do you read this? Okay. So with me, the f the first thing uh, I work on is the colors. Yeah. Yeah. The colors, colors have, have a certain feel okay. to the person who's observing. Yes. So, the blue, nah, mm -hmm. the blue, blue in, in, in color terms or psychological terms, mm -hmm. sort of like a gentle color. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a calm color, it's a mm -hmm. cleaning color. Yes. You see. Mm -hmm. So, this painting, there's a lot of blue. Yes. You see. And that blue was to highlight the, 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 the cleaning power of a woman. And the heart is, is blue. The heart is blue and it's shiny. Yes. It's not just blue. Yes, yes. I actually got a present. Uh, I got that heart as a present from someone. Yeah. Some and then you were it's... like, I'm going to put it on my things. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. <clears throat> Inspiration comes, like, mm -hmm. it, com it comes in the form of suggestions yes. to this. Yeah. Whether you do it or not, inspiration won't say, ah, why didn't you do that? Yeah. But if you listen, you can get a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So inspiration was like, put that blue heart there. But now, how do you do it? Then I had to find a way of making it yeah. cool yeah. so that I could get it and still be moving. But then... To move on to the other parts, I wanted to draw a nice looking dress, but it had to sort of contrast the rest of the... Yeah. So I added red and the green. You see, so it, All right. it sort of separates the skirt and the yeah. board. And then the hair. Uh, I've always been fascinated with dreadlocks at the tips. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, "How can I get them?" Oh. Like, mm, let me cut. Let me cut earbuds. Okay. And glue them on. Then it looks like those curly teeth. Yeah, those. Yeah. Like, and it. <laughs> God, <yes>. it does. <laughs> and it does. It, it does. It creates that effect. Then there's by the corner, 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 corner. Yeah, there's corner, a sun. There on top the sun. Yes. So sort of like a new energy coming in. God. And and I'm looking at this, ne? and I'm saying it's Women's Month. Who's that woman where you say, you made me? My, my mother. My mother, yeah. Your mother? Yeah, my mother. Why your mother? Uh, eh, I love, I love, I love a happy woman. Mm -hmm. And when you make your mother happy, you don't feel guilty about it, and you exactly. don't add stuff, yeah. stuff to it. You just yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. You see. But then there was a time where, it, like at the moment, our relationship is not the best it could mm -hmm. be because mm -hmm. I'm busy creating my own identity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while I'm creating my own identity, I can't be mm -mm, like this with my mother yeah. because there yeah. are things which she does not like yes, or things which she does not understand, mm -hmm. information which she has not come across. But now 
I have to go through my journey. I can't say no to who I am for her. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the person I want to be is a person who's going to help ease the pain she might have at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's she's the one that like sh that's driving this process. Yeah. Yeah. Like the car I want to get her, not because she wants it now, but because she's wanted it before. It's a Hyundai Tucson, but black people pronounce it Tucson. Hyundai Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> black people. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does art mean to you? <laughs> art means uh, the fastest way I can make money. Okay. Yeah. Not, not. Not passion. No. Not passion. No, not it. It, it keeps me from sl no, no. So it's not about passion. It's about no, money. My passion. My passion is to be able to sit in a space with someone without feeling uncomfortable. That's your passion. Yeah, that's what wow. I look for in life. Wow. But now, because we're in a society that operates on an economic system mm -hmm. of capitalism, mm -hmm. you have to find a way of participating in that capitalism. But when you participate in that capitalism, nah, mm -hmm. you must make sure that you have seen it. You see? So if you go into these industries mm -hmm. and lose yourselves in these industries, mm -hmm. you will die. Or you will lose the gift you have and you will just be like Lionel Richie coming back and singing what he sang in mm. 1980s. Mm -hmm. Spirit of music is not in you anymore if you are still singing what you sang then. That's amazing. That's yeah. like the best, best quote I've ever, ever so, heard. <laughs> yeah, so out of it. <laughs> so, 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 so like, uh, uh, I got into this because I can make a lot of money for minimum effort. Mm -hmm. So I decided to train myself to produce high quality art so that it can sell anywhere in the world. And after selling, it can speak for itself. It must, it must, not, it must not be art which is just in G. Yeah. It must have a conversation. Yeah. So now when you're creating that type of art, you must be authentic. But that does not necessarily mean that it's something that consumes your whole yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Quality production is not necessarily your whole life. It's an aspect. Like you're a human being with, with multiple levels. Mm -hmm. You see? So art is the level where I'm going to make a lot of money. Like a lot of money. Wow. Okay, so you are a very handsome gentleman and you are very original and calm. Thank you. And your voice is awesome. It can wake me up in the morning. Thank Are you single? Yes. Yes, I'm single. You're single. So we can send we, we can send you our CVs. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> you your CVs. But you have to be a certain type. See, I've I've, I've tried dating like in the last couple of months and mm -hmm. it hasn't worked out because I'm not finding what I'm looking for. What are and you looking not, for? I don't know. Someone who's fine with themselves. Fine with themselves. With themselves, yeah. Like we shouldn't be sitting together, and then when you are you are uncomfortable about something, because now that's gonna make me uncomfortable, Unc yes. and I'm gonna yes. think it's me. And it's not you. It's, not it's my. You see, so people need to before getting into relationships, people need to work on themselves. First. So that when they get into relationships, they're not affecting the other person. So you must you must also. Be able to be independent without another person. Yeah, because you are without another person. You didn't get out mm. of your mother's <clears throat> with that other person. You know what? This, the way you just... <laughs> I'm going to send my CV, so expect my CV. <laughs> guys, we are getting married soon, so expect some wedding bells. You know? <laughs> this guy is so calm and original and motivating and... Independent, like he's so amazing. You are amazing. Thank you. It's not all. It's not only your art that is beautiful and and amazing and motivating, but it also speaks to you. It it matches your personality. I love your personality. So, Thank how many you. art pieces have you painted? Sure, a lot. I don't. I I I don't because 
because I was not formally in the industry, I was mm-hmm. still practicing. Mm-hmm. Sort of like when a company is in the research and development phase, mm-hmm. that's where I've been. So I've been creating a lot of stuff. Even this cap, it's part of the research and development. It's, oh. tw- it's 28. Yes. It's 28, which is my age. So, yeah, I'm 28. Okay. So, I don't know how many pieces I've created, ne? but I'm going to give you a number, a rough number. Mm-hmm. And these, these, these pieces I've created are not limited to what you see like this, mm-hmm. ne? or that, or that. Mm-hmm. It's different forms, like digital, like creating on my phone. Mm-hmm. So, the rough number could be around 500 pieces. Like, I've created a lot of work since 2007. And you were selling them, or you just... Mm-mm. I was not selling it then. I was research and development. I was researching, finding mm-hmm. different ways of mm-hmm. creating art, finding different techniques. I tried mm-hmm. selling. Mm-hmm. I tried selling, but the market I was in, like, uh, okay, selling. What happened when I tried selling? I, I sold to... I'm going to generalize. Mm-hmm. I sold to black people. Nah? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I found that they, they, they don't pay. Yes. But they want you, like, for example, you come to me and say, can you draw me? Nah? Mm-hmm. I draw you. And I say it's 250 for an A4 paper like this. Yeah. 250. Nah? Mm-hmm. Then you don't pay. Then when I take the same skill, which is drawing people to the galleries, then you are not different. Yeah. You just, ah, oh, come on. You see? Mm-hmm. Then I was like, okay, out of these two markets, which one will I go for? I chose the galleries. But now with the galleries, I had to practice, which is why I was in research and development phase before my work was ready for the so I'd be ready myself with yeah. with the yeah. work, mm-hmm. and I can do the work. Like you wake me up at two, I must be able to do the work. Mm-hmm. You make wake me up at seven, I must be able to mm. do the work. It's twelve, I must be able to do the work. Mm-hmm. To do that, I had to work on myself. Yeah. So, so I haven't been selling, but I've been working on a creative style. Mm-hmm. So I, I explain one of your paint. I love that paint, that one. With, looks like my grandmother. Like she's so beautiful and original. And yeah. So how? What's the motivation behind that painting? Okay, can we move to it? I don't know the shot if it allows. Does the shot allow for us to move closer there? Okay. So let's move here so okay. we can speak. All right. The, the oh, you want to talk about it? Yeah. All right. So, my mic is gonna be all right. Uh, mhm. So, <clears throat> how do you explain this? How do I? Okay. So what happened? Eh? Mhm. I saw I saw this picture. Mhm. On my phone, of this artist who had created uh, uh, a digital. Uh, the digital editing of a mm-hmm. photo. It was a back, uh, a, a black background, ne? and it had colorful dots. Oh, okay, and I, I like, can imagine. Mm, mm-hmm. This woman looks nice. Ne? Mm-hmm. Let me create my own version mm-hmm. of this piece. So I started roughly sketching this old woman. This, this granny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, this granny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did it quickly. And then later on, I was reading something about abstract art. Yeah. So abstract art is the art which cannot be defined. Okay. You see? Yeah. So the art which cannot be defined looks like this. So this can be defined. Yeah, it's just, you just hold it yeah. on, you hold it on, however on. But now it's being made with, with a more yes. realistic Type of art, something yeah. which you can recognize. Mm-hmm. Say this is a grandma. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. What is this? I don't know. You see? So now, with this one, if you see the, the, the facial reactions of this grandmother, she's confused. Yeah, and she's smoking. She's smoking. And this is a closer pipe. Yeah, I was about to ask you about this pipe. This is a closer pipe. Mm -hmm. So she's smoking her closer pipe, mm -hmm. minding her own business. Then this comes by abstract art. But this piece was basically me trying to uh, me trying to show the reality of creating art which can't be defined but creating it for people who are traditional about their ways. Oh, yeah. okay, then, all right. Then I call it art, <clears throat> S, riding talent. So you had to add the S. I had to add the and S. And with the double S's. With the, with the, <laughs> not, not the two, <laughs> but, but S, riding talent. Oh, so basically okay. people do fancy things. Yes trying to create this mm -hmm. to get these people's attention. But sometimes, oh. because these people don't get it... Yeah, ne? Yeah. That is so smart of you. Like, you are very smart. Can you go back to our settings now? Like, that is so smart. I didn't understand the art, but now that I do... So, do you... When you are... Maybe you want to sell it, or you're just throwing your things, and someone asks you... What does that mean? Do you get that often? What does that mean? Yeah, like, oh, come on, oh, do you get that often? Oh, no, it's just us, Sinji. It's, yeah, it's the people within the space of art. It's not just anyone. It's not art anyone. Is, yeah, art is, is, is <clears throat> let's have an art lesson. So there was this movement called Dada. Mm -hmm. Dada, D-A-D-A. Mm -hmm. -D -A. This movement was in the 1920s. And the 1930s, eventually it fell apart. Ne? So Dada was a movement that tried to break apart art, which was in the galleries. You see? Mm -hmm. What they were trying to do is take away art from a few, few people who are in the galleries and give it back to the people. Art is not something which is in the people because people are too busy going about whatever commitments mm -hmm. they have. They don't have time for these mm -hmm. things. So people don't just ask me, wow, you you have a blue heart there. Why did you put that blue heart there? Mm -hmm. Or there's, there's that spiral. What is that? Spiral? Yeah. <laughs> See, they, they, those conversations are not there. Which is also why I'm trying to create art because it has many healing mm -hmm. properties, mm -hmm. if I can call it that, healing characteristics. But it's not in the people world. But it has to go to the people because they need art. It helps you cope. So that's one of your goals, sending art to us. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, so who's that person who inspires you when it comes to art? Who inspires me? Yes. It gets me going? Yes. Uh, number one, Steve Biko, mm -hmm. the book he wrote called uh, I Write What I Like. Mm -hmm. I Write What I Like. Mm -hmm. So when it, came, when it came to creating art, my thing is I draw what I like. You see? Yeah. That's the number one person. Number two is Pablo Picasso. Pablo. Pablo Picasso. Okay. Pablo yeah. Picasso. Yeah. So he was an Italian. I love him for his speed. He created very fast. And he was very aggressive with his creations. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a system I also create when I'm I I also use when I'm creating my own pieces. Mm -hmm. Pablo Picasso. Then there was Jean Michel Basquiat. He was an American artist in the nineteen eighties. So him he was playful. He painted like a child. Like, it was just nice. Like, he was the... <laughs> yeah. But the stuff he would create, ne, mm -hmm. it had a lot of impact. It had a lot of impact. After he had died, one of his paintings got sold for 100, 100 million. Yeah. Wow. Out of money in art. 
Yeah, but yeah. And then there's also uh, Monet. Monet, mm hmm. Monet. Uh, there's, there's a French, French. No, actually, not Monet. Henry Matisse. Okay. Henry Matisse. All right. Yeah, Henry Matisse. Henry Matisse was for the color. The reason, like, my paintings are, are full of yeah. color is because of Henry Matisse and how he used to zhuzh it up yeah. with the colors. Then there was also Salvador Dali because of his realism and also twisting realism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many art forms do you know so far? Me? Mm -hmm. A lot. A lot of them? A lot. You can't even Not count. Not all of them, like a lot. Like a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. that because you have to do your research. Yeah. If you if you're offering something yeah. to people, you have to be respectful of what you're offering. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. And for you to be respectful of what you're offering, you have to look at it from many angles. Mm -hmm. You have to from know many it. Yeah. So that even when you find yourself in that space, you 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 will also like now if you if you don't do your research, then you create a style or you think you're creating a style only to find that style was done a long, long ago. time ago 1728 and everyone knows it's, it's old fashioned thing <sighs> it's dead but when you so but now if you have that foundation then you can work and create from 2019 yeah. with all the previous years before okay then let's talk about music yeah <laughs> What's happening? Do you do music? Do you love music? Do you wish on doing music someday? Okay, let's start with something up. There's, there's these mixes I used to do, Deep House. Okay. Yeah, Deep House mixes. I used to do Deep House mixes while I was staying in Sunnyside. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my DJ name is Trans Galactic. Trans Galactic. What does that mean? I, I can't even say it. <laughs> what does uh, it mean? Our, our universe has multiple galaxies. Mm hmm so I was saying that I'm not stuck to one galaxy. Yeah. I'm coming from a, so I'm trans. <coughs> so I'm multiple <laughs> galaxies. Okay. All right. So so it was, tra so yeah, trans trans galaxy. Yeah. Uh, deep house mixing. Mm -hmm. I like DJing between BPMs one one five mm -hmm. and one twenty. The highest I go is 122. Hmm. Uh, after that, then it's like it's, I'm not comfortable. Yeah. It's yeah. I like go, which goes back to the introvert mm -hmm. thing. I like slow pace. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I also like people who are comfortable with themselves. Like a deep house song, for example, can take four minutes to start. Yeah. But but if you're chilling with someone who's not comfortable, after 20 seconds, that person wants to change the mm. song. Yeah, I get that. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then, with, in terms of what I listen to, art, everything. Everything that sounds But, bad. like, what I am Tina. I was Tina, the vocalist. I'm Tina. And I, 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 I'm, a, I, I'm a musician. I'm also a musician, if that's what they call it. So do you also want to be a musician or you just want to do art and be comfortable with your art thing? No, I want to be a musician. You do? I so what do I'm to channel always. Yeah, but now I'm, I'm, I'm in conflict in terms of what style to go for. Like I've tried hip hop, but then I get uncomfortable with the, trying to yeah. hold the rhyme, yeah. and learning yeah. the rhyme. But when I try stuff like uh, Boja mm -hmm. so or Bo, like what Anati did with ES. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. You see, that's not sort of the space I should be in. But now this thing, like, you want to yeah. be careful. Can, can, can I say something? <laughs> you are a Corsa, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have. <laughs> no, no, not apropos. <laughs> Like you are Tosa and you can't rap. Not that I can't rap. I haven't rap. There's a different can't do something. Do you, are you uncomfortable? Are you com comfortable with rapping? Yeah. With the speed in, and uh, everything. But that's the thing. I have to find a flow first. Okay. 
Yeah, I have to find myself in a certain flow. So do you, uh, between ripping practice. and singing, what do you ex- what, prefer? Yeah, what do you prefer? Oh, singing. Singing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You are cool, oh. man. So let's go, man. Karin Sepina, man. Yeah, Afro pop, man. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, before this year, before this year, uh, I'm gonna release an Afro pop track. Yeah. Because you are asking. <laughs> oh, so interesting. This is yeah. why I'm saying to my CV. You see? You see? <laughs> so who is your all-time painter? My all-time? Painter. Favorite painter? Yes. I can't say I have one. Jo? But my all-time favorite movement in painting is Dada. And what is the difference? When you say one person, you're choosing one aspect. But that, like I said earlier on, you have, you have multiple aspects in you. And those mm. multiple aspects like different things. Okay. So I can say today I like realism. Then if I say I like realism, then my, my best would be Rembrandt. Rembrandt. He, he was, was awesome. awesome. Then there's also Leonardo uh, da Vinci. Mm-hmm. He was very... He was... He's... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I want to be anywhere in life, it's Leonardo da Vinci. Mm. So let's say let, let's say uh, Lefasi Lafe Lamudimu is coming back. Umuziling. So Mudimu Ari, when I take you, you have only one thing that you have to take yourself with. You take whatever it is. Ne? It's either I, I will take music. To go with you. Yes, I will choose music. So I, I will choose singing. Not just music, singing. And music also. What will you take? Okay. I don't want to sound repetitious. Mm-hmm. Now, but it goes back to that thing of conversation, interaction with people. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing I've learned. Like when you study your life, and you see what's the best thing about your life. Yeah. For me, the best thing about life is chilling with people who understand you and also people who you understand. So that when we get there, we can do a lot of stuff like painting, yeah. like yeah. singing, yeah. like riding bicycle, like mm-hmm. playing speed spin tops. You see, children, the reason children appear so happy yeah. eh, is because they got a squad. I'd go with a squad. To be alone is difficult. Yeah. You can be the best painter. Yeah. You can be the best musician. Mm-hmm. But if you're alone, you're going to be miserable, which is why they end up committing suicide exactly. but if you have a foundation of a squad that understands you and you understand and that also them. leads to depression depression and if you're alone, yeah, yeah and all that so what can so we expect from you in the next coming years but also I, I, I'd like to ask people this question eh? before we answer that where do you see yourself in the next two years your short term goals Next two years, I want to go back to writing. Mm-hmm. I want to have published a book. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to have published a book. I've written three books <gasps> before, but they're not published. All right. It, it was also research and development. Yeah. yeah. But I want to publish a book. I want to have multiple exhibitions. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say how many, but I want to have multiple exhibitions, like visual art yeah. exhibitions. And I also want to go back to another thing I used to do, uh, which is uh, writing scripts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like scripts for movies or drama series. Mm -hmm. So I want to either write a full script for a movie or a drama series. So those three things. And music as well. Then where do you see yourself in the next 20 years? Oh, that's that's honest to God. That's too far. <laughs> nah, honest to God, I can give you an answer. You're like, wow, this guy is so ambitious. But now, nah, honestly, twenty years is too far. Cause, how many times am am I going to change? So many times. That period eh? of twenty times. Yeah. I understand. So I'm gonna let these next two years lead you. Consume me, and after that, I'll see you. Cause you, with me, ne. Because I'm not looking for the industry, mm-hmm. I might find myself as a baker. Oh, yeah, you are right, because I, I'm also interested in cooking. So, baby, because of music, you can get a cooking, you can chef mama. 
So how do we get hold of you in social media? I have one account. It's on Instagram. Okay. So no. P F L A X I E Lix at Lix. So you don't have Facebook, WhatsApp. I deleted Facebook. I deleted Facebook. You don't have WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Uh, I have WhatsApp, but I don't know if I'm ready for. Okay. For so entering all right, space, yeah. understood. Where do we get this art? You get it here. You come to Native. Oh <laughs> really? So yeah. I know more and more guy creating. It's only on at Native. Yeah, and Instagram. Instagram also. Okay, it was it was nice having you. Thank you for I, having I, me. I, this interview was also, you were also interviewing me because I sent you a CV and I hope you accept yeah, we'll, it. We'll feel the... Yeah, Ritavon. <laughs> but though, like, you have to. Otherwise, you know that the, those words, Yahori, is either you are my husband or I'm going to jail. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's how it is. Do you have a gun? Do you have a gun? <laughs> no, I, I use my, my hands. I'm very powerful. I don't need a gun. Slow. A gun is slow. Very slow. I'm fast. Like two <laughs> minutes. Gone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was very nice having you. Ne? We go pray about it. <laughs> if God says she's the one, then... <laughs> how do you know? God. Are you going to dream about me? I'll, I'll pray. People find husbands and wives through prayer. Yeah, so, they do. My man. Not to find okay. like that. I'll go down on my knees. Okay, I'll, I'll also pray. With my white candle, I'll also play. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It was nice having you. Mr. Flex. Flexi. Flexi. Flexibility. Yeah. I'm also yeah. flex. It was very nice having you on the show. Guys, that was it. And I hope you enjoyed it. From me, Christina Siribulani. Hi, Beberok. On social media, it's at Street Cornerian on Twitter, at Street Corner Visuals on Instagram, Street Corner Visuals on Facebook, also at Blackish Blue SA on Twitter, at Blackish Blue Media on Instagram, Blackish Blue Media also on Facebook, and Kasi and Fort Sakasi on Facebook, or email us on Street Corner 94 at gmail.com.